Hey folks, we're out on the water. Uh, over the next six episodes of Soft Plastics 101, we're gonna talk about a different model of soft plastic. So today we're just gonna kick things off with the humble curl tail grub. So you can see why that thing's called a curl tail grub. It's basically got a grub body with a curl tail and that curl tail will ripple and flick and move around in the water, so loads of action. So if you're a beginner getting into soft plastics, Curl tail is probably one of the best places to start and that's why they've been so popular for decades. Because they are so effective on a wide range of species, because they're available in a bunch of different sizes and because they've got loads of action. Whether that plastic's sinking and it's got that flutter and movement of the tail or in the case of the Z-Man which is buoyant, it'll actually sit on the bottom and that tail will stand up and move around in the water. So even when it's doing nothing on the bottom it's still attracting fish and then on the retrieve you can flick it, you can hop it, you can shake it, you can wind it fast, you can wind it slow. Any of those retrieves and that curl tail will work for you. And that's what's made them so versatile and so effective in the hands of beginners and deadly in the hands of experienced soft plastics fishos. Size wise, you can start off with something like this little two, a, uh, little two inch grubs, the smallest in the range. That little two inch grubs is deadly on brim and trout and redfin and all of those species that are eating smaller food step up to a two and a half inch grubs you've got that little bit more size a little bit more profile great in the estuaries great in the fresh for small and medium target species but also punches well above its weight catching big flatties mulloway uh, snapper all sorts of other species three and a half inch we get a bit bigger and you're looking at flathead bass snapper a wide range of species trevally and then we go from there to that's a four inch and a five inch and they're a bit different they're a streaks curly tail z-man so still 10 times tough, but they're like a minnow style body, but they've still got that curl tail. You can see the, the obvious curl tail on those. That four and five inch streaks curly tails, dynamite on Mulloway snapper, popular on uh, Trevally and a stack of offshore species as well. Also a good flatty plastic. And then if you're looking for a really big grub, check out that nine inch. And being 10 times tough, Z-Man, durable plastic, buoyant, so a lot of action. And that big plastic is popular on reef species, uh, barra, cod, also an excellent spinnerbait trailer as well. So that's the, that's the nine inch Z-Man grub. So a lot of action in that. So basically, if you're looking for a plastic, plastic to start with, curl tail is a great option. If you've been fishing soft plastics a bit, you know that it's probably already one of your go-tos, especially when the bite's a bit tough, you can fish it really slow as well and still have plenty of action. So let's have a look at three retrieves that are commonly used when fishing a curl tail grubs. All right, so our curl tail, as we said, very versatile plastic, lots and lots of movement in that tail, and a great plastic for beginners too that want to have a crack at soft plastics fishing. So a few retrieves that I use with a curl tail plastic, one of them is actually doing very little. They call it dead sticking, dragging, a few different things. So basically, I, if I see a pontoon or a rock wall or some structure, I'll just flick that plastic in there, and all I'm doing is watching that line and that plastic is just dead sticking. It's just drifting down the face of that rock wall, drifting along the bottom past that rock wall or under that pontoon. And I just wait to see what they call a tick in the line. You see a tick in the line, that's a bite, and you set that hook and away you go, wind that fish in. So it doesn't really, doesn't really sound that exciting, <clears throat> but that is, that is a genuine retrieve. Dead sticking or dragging the plastic, letting the plastic drift along the bottom. Extremely effective when you're targeting structure because that tail just flutters down beside that structure, the fish eats it, you see the tick in the line, you set the hook. And also when the, say, brim are spawning or fish are spawning in deep water, if you're drifting with the wind or the current and that plastic's bouncing along the bottom or close to the bottom, it, the tail's doing all the work. So you're just waiting for that tick, set that hook and away you go. Another that we use is slow rolling. So slow rolling, as we mentioned, is just a roll of the, of the reel. So slow roll, so we're rolling that plastic. That's what they call it. We're rolling that reel, rolling that handle. And that curl tail plastic has loads of action. So it's just going to roll along there. We can roll it faster, we can roll it slower. And you can see that plastic in the water will just be working lots and lots of lively tail action. Really good across the flats, over structure. Just roll that plastic back and there's a lot of tail action in there. So you just gotta mess around with the speed that you retrieve that plastic at when you're rolling it until you find it might be a really dead slow roll out of a drain or something to try and get that fish to bite. And then that curl tail also responds really well to a hop and a pause. So the hop gets it up off the bottom 
and that pours, it flutters back down again. And then don't be, don't be afraid to leave it pause there for a while, you know. Give the fish time to eat it, especially with that Z-Man, 10 times tough, super soft and flexible plastic. If you give it time, give the fish time to eat it because it's nice and soft and chewy. The fish will bite it a few times until they find that hook. So, so don't be afraid to give it a bit of a pause when we hop and retrieve our plastic. So we're gonna let it sink to the bottom and we're gonna do what we call hopping. So we'll hop that, give it a couple of hops up off the bottom, pause it, allow it to float back down again, give it a couple of hops, pause. And we're allowing that plastic to fall on the slack, but we're still watching that line as it sinks back down so that we can see if we get a bite as that plastic flutters back down to the bottom. And that's called hopping. So some people like to give it one good hop. Some people like to give it two hops. Others will give it the three hops, one, two, three. Just mix it up until you find what works on the day. I find a classic, just a classic one, two, hop, pause, back to the bottom, two hops, pause, back to the bottom. And you'll catch all sorts of species doing that, whether it's a small grub in the estuaries for brim and flathead and mulloway and snapper and those sorts of things, or whether you're offshore with a big nine inch grubs, hopping that nine inch grubs around reef edge or deep water. Uh, definitely a deadly plastic, especially for those who want to kick off and get started in plastics. A weapon in the in the hands of tournament anglers and that little two and a half inch grubs has won itself a ton of brim tournaments. So that's curl tails. Get out there, give them a crack.